Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be working on the Impala. It's been a while since I've done anything to it. I have driven it around a bit, but haven't really worked on it. So today we're going to get back on it. I do have the carpet on order. Should be here in a few days. So I can replace that nasty mess. But uh, every panel that I take off, I'm going to clean and paint. I have on a past video where I took off the dashboard and cleaned it. The lower dash, I gotta pull all these broken uh, plastic clips off so I can fix it and it has some cracks in it. But I drove this thing around a few weeks ago. And while I was driving it around, this plastic T broke kind of common on these those of you guys in Impala world know about that so I'm gonna fix it and put a brass fitting while I'm here I'm gonna replace all the other hoses as well now if you've been following this project um, you know I got it in April had, hadn't ran in about 10 years so I changed the fuel pump got it running polished the rims cleaned up the center caps as well um, before I started YouTube, I had changed the belt tensioner to the new one and the belt. Um, and since then I've been waiting for uh, these hoses to be in stock because I wanted the red silicone ones from that website that starts with a B. I just kept waiting patiently but that broke and found these for a hundred bucks and pass that up today I'm gonna to be replacing all these hoses with these blue silicone ones from Continental it's supposed to come with all the hoses and the clamps here's the part number of what I'm using I actually found this multiple people have it Summit like eBay and I think it's like 140 to 150 bucks. I actually found this at AutoZone for 120. And if you know how AutoZone works with that rewards program, I use the $20. So I ended up getting this for like $100, $105 with tax. So I can't beat that. And it comes with all the hoses in the future. Um, I can always replace them with those other red ones. I do plan on changing this tank. But I've never really wanted to do much to this engine because I plan on putting an LS in here. But in this configuration, I do want it reliable because I plan on taking this on a cross-country road trip. So let me get my water hose, a couple of screwdrivers and sockets for this, and we'll start taking this apart. So I started off by disconnecting the battery. I'm going to take this clamp off and take this container off and rinse it out with the water hose and then just work my way in um, that's a 10 I also got a quarter for some of these small ones a 516 then I'm gonna take off the intake as well and give me some more room for this stuff here So I got the reservoir out, this blue hose goes here like this, I got all the hoses out so I could see more or less which ones are which. I'm not going to put this on now so I could keep this with me and take it to Home Depot to find the, the T.
気になることがあるかもしれない。Well, the over here on this side, I have it right here ready to go. A buddy of mine showed up, just picked up this 2005 soft tail deuce. Pretty cool. You don't really see these around. Pretty cool. Had to use this long extension. Just stick it through here, all the way down. But I got that hose clamp off. Oh, you can see the hose clamp right there. Got the bottom hose off. Make sure when you're doing this, you properly dispose of your coolant. See all that black stuff? That's what came out. All that stuff right there on the floor. There's another one of these brackets that holds the hoses in. It's right here underneath the windshield wiper motor. It's a seven. It's right here. And it holds this, this bracket here in the back. This is it here. So the only thing that's left is these two clamps to the heater hose and then I could take this whole thing out all right so I'm kind of struggling with that hose clamp that was back there there's two um, I got the top one off what I did is with the channel locks came in through over here to the driver's side and kind of leaned all the way in stuck my hand back here and I was able to grab it and then turn it just a little bit now with these hose clamp uh hose pliers whatever these are called from harbor once it was up here i was able to i was able to grab it and push it forward so get yourself a pair of these i forgot how much they were they come in a set there's like three of them and they have different sizes These make this a whole lot easier. I already got the top one off. So I just gotta do this bottom one and then I can take this whole thing out. See that?
so there was this hose here it might be vacuum or something i don't know it was going in between so i had to address that It's an evap line coming from the gas tank. So the hose goes down here. It's connected here to a metal line with that hose clamp there. This is probably a uh, perch solenoid or something. Because then it goes to here and then it goes into the intake. So that's going to be the evap. Alright, so I got the heater hoses out. And I'm comparing them with the new ones. Obviously this T I'm gonna replace with a, a brass one. But I found this here. And the replacement hoses have that accounted for because like this bottom one is like meant to stop here. And then this other one is long enough to go all the way to where the T is, but these ones with the 90 degree, they go over here for these two. I guess they're cut to fit, but I need to see what this is here. So if this is some kind of flow control for the heater, then I'm going to have to order that because the winners here are pretty brutal. Um, if I could tear this apart and reuse it, which I don't know if I should, uh, I'll be able to finish today. So that's where I'm at. So this is a flow control device. I'm going to have to order it. I don't want to bypass it. It's too cold here to not have heat in the winter. Even though I might not drive this car when there's snow out because I don't want it to get all salted up but I will drive it in the winter when the roads are nice and dry hey Cisco I'm gonna put on the upper and the lower radiator hose and that's probably all I'm gonna do today and then I'll finish the rest next week well I got these two hoses on I'm gonna stop this video here I'm gonna order the new reservoir because this one's kind of yellow and it's old and I'm already here. If you're already there and you're already working on it, just do it. I know the new reservoir comes with a new cap and with the new sensor. So, yeah, I'm going to replace this. And I'm also going to get a new one of these. So, I'll stop the video here, put all this stuff away, and I'll continue next week. I came to Lowe's to find the T that I'm going to need. I put some zip ties on the hoses so that I know what ends need to go where. And I saw this paint here and it gave me an idea about the smallest gloss black I can find. A couple of paint brushes and a clear coat. It's going to be for something else. So these are the fittings that I bought at Lowe's. They're mostly three quarters, three quarter barb. And a five eighths. So this one's a five eighths. This one's a three quarter and this one's a three quarter. Even though they look the same, um, they're not. And I was just gonna get that shark bite tee, but after like test fitting it, it was like too loose. So this is the ones that are tight. This is what I'm going to go with. I'm going to put this together. I'm going to use some of this thread sealant here. And make my tea. I so this one that goes to the reservoir is three quarters. This one that goes to the heater is three quarters. And it's kind of stretched a little bit. Kind of snug but that'll work. And then this one coming from the water pump is 5 eighths.
so this is what's gonna look like. Looks kind of rough, but that's all I could find at my local Lowe's. I wanted to find a smaller one, but it is what it is. I'm gonna let this dry up. I'll give it some black spray paint, and then we'll continue. No matter what you're doing in your car, don't ever get so busy that you can't rub up a piece of meat and throw it in your smoker. So I'm throwing in two tri-tips. This one I'm using that Malcolm Reed, how to, bar bar how to barbecue right. And this is just gonna be salt and pepper. I wanted to do a brisket, but I don't have enough time, so I haven't done tri-tip before, so I hope it comes out good. Not only am I doing this for the first time, I'm smoking with crushed wine barrels and a little bit of hickory. Throw these in there at 225, let it get up to temperature, and we'll see how it comes out. I love cooking outdoors, smoking, grilling, barbecuing. If you guys would like to see some more videos on this, let me know in the comments. And I'll share some of my recipes and stuff that I like to eat. So that piece there, this is the part number for it. And it is a flow control device. It has a baffle in it. and just controls the speed of the coolant going into the heater core. If the coolant is circulating too fast, it doesn't have enough time to absorb some of that heat, and then it can't take it into the heater core, and then the heater ends up being inefficient. So, like I said uh, last week, I'm not gonna bypass this. This is gonna be a weak link. I could just buy an extra one and keep it in my glove box. If it ever pops, it's just gonna be uh, two hose clamps to take it off. Should be easy. I'm gonna take this apart because I, I want to reuse these brackets here here's a quick tip for taking these labels off clean just rip off what you can then roll it and squeeze it like distort the holes and a lot of this the sticker here will actually it'll actually let go it makes it a lot easier to peel So these brackets have this like rivet thing just cut it off cut it off and then just put a bolt a little nut and bolt it'll make it a, a lot easier to put this thing back together so this is what I ended up with I'm gonna try to put shit back in and then once it's in then I'll continue this piece over here
coming along. I did try to rinse this out last week, but it's old, yellow, and nasty. So this is a new one. This is the part number. So I'm just going to use this instead. Getting ready to put it in here and then just do one more hose to the water pump and then the last one from here to the throttle body. This is how far I got today. Tomorrow I'll continue. It's just been really hot. And not really motivated to work. To be honest so tomorrow I'll wrap this up well good morning it's the next day I'm gonna finish this today a couple of other things I don't like how this opens up slow Yeah, I don't like that. I do have the new support lifts. I think they're in the trunk. I'll do that today as well. Finish this up. And the cover, that triangle cover that goes here, I'm going to paint that. Make that look nice. I guess I'll paint the, the uh, that other airbox thing that goes over here. Well, let's get to it. I'm gonna get the support, look for the support lifts, start on that, and uh, wrap this up. I wanna try to beat the heat. It's supposed to be hot today. Okay, well these are real easy to replace. All you gotta do is pop this out. All right, I needed a helper. So anyways, like I was saying, just pop this thing off and then just pull it off. And then the new one is just reverse, just push it in. It's real easy. See? This is the part number. much better so I'm gonna wipe this down with a little bit of acetone Let's see how it evaporates right away get this surface nice and clean and then hit it with a coat of this adhesion promoter here Before I start painting it with this, this is the closest paint I can find to the factory dark cherry color. All right, I got a coat of adhesion promoter on there. It says to wait 10 minutes, so I'm gonna wait 10 minutes and then hit it with the first coat of paint. Should have thought of this sooner before I tried painting it there on the back of my truck, but, oh well. All 
I always buy the concentrate. This one's 50-50. It means you're just getting half a gallon. The rest is water. I don't like my stuff having cut. I came to two different auto zones. If you break up your transactions, you'll get your points faster. So I'm gonna use these paint brushes here and this gloss black to paint in here the details on the letters and the lines. Then I'm gonna clear coat it afterwards. So this is what I was trying to do. I mean, from right here it looks cool, but there's some places where I could have done better. Maybe I could have used a better brush. You know, stuff like that. But that's fine. When you're standing and you're looking at it, you're seeing it from about this distance. And that's good enough for who it's for. I'm going to let it dry, then I'm going to put some clear coat. And get it put, all put back together. I'm just going to spray it with this clear coat here. So all the hoses are in. I'm going to start putting together the intake because I have it in pieces. And this job is done. Just fill up the coolant and that's it. Bleed the system. You bleed it from that steam port there. And that's it. That's it. been staring at it for a minute now all this new stuff makes the old stuff look worse but it's a work in progress this is uh what having a project is all about get out there and work on something guys little by little it starts to come together i hope some of these videos like motivate you or inspire you to go get that car out of the garage or pick up an old project or something thanks for watching guys i'll see you guys next time